what I would describe as translation of taking the skill sets, the behaviours, the culture that prevails within the armed forces and then saying actually what are the key components of that, which are the things that might be of use and value to people in the civilian world, to employers uh, and certainly the groups that we're recruiting from, people in the human intelligence services, people in communication services, great skill sets. The ability to analyse, to bring together disparate sets of data, to apply that knowledge in quite challenging circumstances very often, addressing real threats, real issues in a cool-headed, professional way, I think, are all part of that sort of sense of what we, one of the reasons we're focusing on the military community to uh, train more people in the cybersecurity space.